Hello! In today's video, I will show you 3 motion title ideas that I saw somewhere and wanted to try out in DaVinci Resolve. The first one is very simple. We have the text and background connected to a merge node. In between, we will add another layer through a merge node that will highlight our text. We will add another background node and use a polygon as its mask. Here you have various tools that you can use when working with the polygon. Draw the desired shape, tweak it a bit and then animate it using the length parameter. We will use the anim curve modifier, set the easing and adjust the time scale to 3, so that the animation ends at one third of the fusion composition. For the next idea as a base, we need fast noise, abstraction and edge detection. In fast noise, primarily increase the alpha of the black color, then adjust the parameters as needed. In abstraction, check quantization, move the steps slider all the way to the right and move the softness slider all the way left. Then in edge detection, reduce the edge width all the way down. Next add a background node and connect the rest to it as a mask. In the settings under the channel, set it to luminance and change the color to whatever you want. To add movement, slightly increase the seat rate in fast noise. If you don't want it to be transparent, add a background. Insert a text node and link it. Adjust the size and other settings as needed and add the follower modifier by right clicking in the text field. In the timing section of the follower, set the order to completely random. In the shading appearance, add the shaker modifier. Now we need to add a delay between individual letters. We will do that again in the timing section of the follower. And back in the shaker, the smoothness parameter determines the speed of the flicker. The follower modifier only applies to animated elements. So if you want a thinner outline, you have to change it in the original's text shading. For the next motion title, we need an ellipse. Then add a transform node and a displace node. Connect fast noise to it using the green arrow and use all of them as a mask for the background. In the background, you can set the color. In the transform node, you will need to animate the size using the anim curve. Set the scale to 1 and the easing according to your preferences. Since we want to create a cutout and not just a circle, in the background node set apply mask inverted. You will also need to adjust fast noise to change the shape of the mask. You may need to experiment a bit to get the desired result. Add text along with the background node and connect it to the entire composition. Change the text color with the eyedropper tool to match the surrounding color. Right click in the text field and add the character leveling modifier. This allows you to select parts of the text in the preview window and adjust properties for just those parts. You can change fonts, colors and so on. To animate the text you will use the follower again. Set the timing as you like and in the transform tab animate the X and Y size. For one of the parameters use a simple expression to link it to another parameter. Don't forget to enable animation by clicking on the dot. And for the other parameter add the anim curve modifier. Set the elastic easing out and scale to 1. Add a bit of time delay so that the animation starts a little later. In the animation of the blot, in the transform node, set the time scale to 2 so that the blot fills in earlier. But overall you can play with the timing and setting as you like. That's all for today. I hope you learned something new and I look forward to seeing you next time.